Oh boy, here we go. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I had fun in my 24-hour-ish playthrough even with a lot of bugs it still has like rubber banding, phasing through the ground etc. But my guess is that this little bit of enjoyment will start to die off once I cross maybe the 40-hour mark, which I definitely didn't during the weekend, because it already started to feel really stale for me. I think it's probably because there is that visible lack to content unlike the previous Battlefield releases, maybe. Gunplay seems a lot better than it did in the beta, and I'm glad that the starting ammo count is a lot better than it was during the beta. I initially thought that squad change was not possible and it pissed me off. But later I found out that if you went into the player list and right click you could change squads. I mean the UI is really bad. It's downright confusing most of the time. About the addition of specialist though, I have mixed opinions. I hated when I saw this in the beta but I've gotten used to the concept. But yes. As much as I'd like to have the old class system I've accepted that this is not gonna change and I find this to be the least frustrating issue with the game. Portal is indeed fun, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have already mentioned it but it provides very little to progression. For example if you play a round of conquest on a BF3 map you aren't going to get any ribbons for objective captures or kills which I found to be really frustrating. And don't get me started on hazard zone. I waited and waited to log into a game only to just sit in a lobby waiting for players. I don't know if it's an issue with my server or not. But my guess is that it's more likely that the mode is dead. Again if I had to make a choice between this or BF5, I would definitely go with BF5. Only thing 2042 has in favor is the modern aspect and how it's aesthetically pleasing at times. And evolution as we know it is kinda dead. Walls do break when hit with explosives but if you go in expecting something like the building crashing down in Siege of Shanghai, you're in for some massive disappointment. The only ones I found interesting were the explosion of the oil tanks on breakaway and ship hull falling down at discarded. Bottom line. Stick with BF5 if you just want to play a battlefield title. It is still fun and a lot of people still play it. I would not recommend 2042 at the current price, even with the little sale. I would suggest that you wait until its price reaches like 5 to 10 dollars lol. And hopefully by then the game will feel a lot more solid. If you found this video decently satisfying or useful, consider subscribing. Have a good day fellas.